canteen. and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we're doing some exploring and camping and hiking. I have heard rumors of some remote waterfalls and swimming holes, some caves and maybe even some abandoned mines in this valley and we're gonna see if we can't find them and this is Nathan's first real hike um, and he's, uh, he's only five so we're gonna give it a go and see how he does here. Well, check it out. Just in case we run into any people on the trail, Nathan is wearing his ninja mask. Can I see your ninja mask? <laughs> one, one of our neighbors sewed a bunch of camo masks for all the boys. It's really sweet. <laughs> the dabbing ninja. Looks like the path is kind of flooded. We need to, we need to find a way around. Yeah, use all your ninja skills. Okay, you good? All right, I think we found the path again. All right, let's keep going. You good, Nate? Yeah. Look how pretty this water is. The flowers are blooming. There's little waterfalls everywhere. It's just gorgeous here. There's the path. Let's see if we can find another way around. There you go. <laughs> this is pretty. Keep going, bud. Nice and easy. There's the path, and you can see it crosses back over again. But we have to get across this waterfall. Hold on that tree, you good? Good job, buddy. You got it? All by yourself. Woo, I didn't like that path. Next time, I'm fording the river. Oh, let's see if daddy can fit through here. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Woo. Hey Nathan, Nathan, check this out. Look at that. What is that? That's a spring. All right, got a major landmark. Gotta do a little navigation here. Oh. 
Look at that waterfall. <laughs> More, because they got filtered. It's rained on and off for three days, and uh, it just barely cleared up this morning, so this river's definitely swollen. Uh, we're high up in the mountains, though, so it should clear up pretty quickly. And I'm hoping by tomorrow on our way back, we'll be able to ford the river instead of having to climb over all those rocks and cliffs to get back. Plus, it doesn't matter if we get wet on our way back. We don't want to get wet on our way in. You having fun, Nathan? Yeah. Good. Checking out this pad was brand new when I put it on my back this morning. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, <laughs> she almost went in. That's a ninja move. That was a ninja move. Our path is kind of a river here. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh. Nathan's eating pocket raisins. I, I want one. Oh, yeah, let's. Oh, yeah, yogurt covered. Trail snack. Mm. Well, look around, see if we can find a cave. I heard that there might be some caves around here. We're going to see if we can find them. Not sure we will, though. There's a cave right over there at the bottom of those rocks. Just go nice and slow. <laughs> Look at that. See the water is going into the rock and it's digging a hole in the rock. Look at this. Look at that, that's absolutely stunning. Well, this sure is a pretty spot and an awesome swimming hole, but this is not the waterfall we were looking for. So we gotta keep looking and see if we can't find that. There's another beautiful swimming hole right there. Look how deep that is. Well, we found the swimming hole. Now I want to find an abandoned mine. Apparently there used to be a manganate iron ore mine around here. It's been all abandoned and there's some ruins, but uh, I have really sketchy details on where exactly it is. So we're going to have to get a little wet, I'm afraid. I think we're going to have to cross the river. All right, I think we need to cross the river. <laughs> we're going to get a little wet. Nice, healthy pink color. Well, there we go. I'm a little damp, but I'm still dry. Brisk and refreshing, that was. <laughs> oh, look, some leftover structure from the mining operation. <laughs> look, there's yeah, some concrete over there, some footings here. Look at that, I wonder if there's more. Oh, check it out, here's more of the mine. See, look at this, some old bricks here. Here's more parts of that old mine. You can see the rock wall, part of a foundation right here. Probably it used to be a house here. Well, so far, this is the most we found from the mine. I believe they used to mine manganate and iron here. The caves are over this way. All right, time to get wet again. You back there, Nate? Check out this plant we're climbing through. These are rhododendron. They're native to China, and they've been introduced and spread all over the country. Even out in the middle of nowhere, there's tons of them. 
You look at them, all these rhododendron bushes. When we were in Scotland, they were all over there too. Dang it, can't go around there. We can't get around that. We are killing ourselves trying to find these caves. We saw the caves across the river and they're just over this next ridge. But they're at the base of a cliff and obviously we don't want to approach it from the top of the cliff. And around the sides, we just can't do it. It's sheer rock wall and white water. So uh, I, think, I think we're not gonna make it on the caves. Maybe on another day when the water level's lower. Oh, well half my body has been bathed very thoroughly today. All right, this looks like as good a spot as any to set up camp. Whew, let's drop our packs and start finding some firewood. Oh, oh my goodness, I've had that pack on for six hours now. I, I suddenly feel so light. <laughs> All right, let's take it to the fire. Yay! Oh, oh this is so much lighter than my pack. <laughs> this is good and dry. Look at this. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, that snap sounds perfect. Uh, Wait, Daisy, did you find a stick? Yes, I'm holding that. Oh, that's a big one. I brought my Japanese Higo no Kami knife. This is a traditional Japanese folding knife. That's a marshmallow stick. Hold on to that sucker. All right, so I got some cotton balls soaked in Vaseline. I put a couple underneath the tinder right there and the rest I'm going to put on the end of this stick here. Then I'm gonna take my blast match, make a little torch here. See, easy peasy. haven't seen this already this is my one-man backpacking tent it's a little over three pounds it's the Alps mountaineering one-man tent it's uh, about 90 bucks I got it on amazon.com I'll put a link in the description but if you guys uh, want to know more about tents or you think about buying a tent I did a tent review video that's pretty helpful I'll put a link in the description to that as well let's go get some water Nate all right so Nate's using the live straw you just take the ends off and uh, drink through it like a straw. I got some water. I didn't do it that cold. Yeah, go for it. You drink right there, and I'm going to load up your canteen. Hey, Nate, would you like me to build you a bench? Oops. <laughs> There you go, the rock's starting to heat up and you can see it's cracked and broken in a few places. It'll probably break in a few more places by the time we're done. But that's really typical. You just gotta be careful with certain types of rocks uh, that don't have good straight cleavage. They tend to explode on you. Slate and shale tend to be the best ones. So you, what do you want for dinner? Ramen noodles! Okay, ramen noodles. And I brought along steak and artisan bread, but Nathan wants to eat cup of noodle and hot chocolate. That's his jam, we're gonna stick to it. No, that's full. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah, we're getting some sizzle on there.
If big old campfire steaks on rocks is kind of your thing, check out my campfire cooking playlist. I've got tons of videos there, including one where I made bread from scratch and cooked it on rocks. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description. All right, I got a loaf of sourdough bread. We're gonna heat this up on the rock as well. Don't need to cook it, just warm it up. There we go. Mm. Mm. That's good. There's a lot of bears in this area, so we're gonna have to make sure and clean up our camp really good before we go to bed and get all these greasy rocks far away from us. If you see a bear, what are you gonna do? Okay. You're gonna attack it with your, your survival fork. Yep. My sweet wife packed me one of her homemade coconut mochi bars for dessert. Whoa. No, oh, that's better than the steak sandwich. Mmm. All right, buddy, you want to rest marshmallows? Yeah. Look at these things, they're like small planets. Now that is what I call a perfect marshmallow. Look at that, baby. Woo! That's a good marshmallow, but I feel like I'm cheating on my wife. She loves roasted marshmallows and she should be here to be enjoying this. Let me see your head. Oh my goodness. No, don't get my camera marshmallowy. Can't see. Go, go on outside, get changed. Get you right there. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. You want two or one? Two. All right. Well, the sun is set and it's Nathan's bedtime, but I promise I'll go in there and uh, watch some shows with him on the phone and and uh, we're just gonna relax until we go to sleep. Sometimes a man wears stretchy pants when he's alone by the fire. It's for fun. Oh, good morning. Good morning. You having fun? Yeah. Good. There you go. Well, it's only 10 a.m. and already it's a much warmer day, so me and Nathan need to make a wardrobe change. Where you from? You sex a thing, sex a thing, you. Ugh. Pack feels a little bit heavier today. <laughs> I'm a little tender. Well, we found a lot of cool stuff, but there was one waterfall that we didn't find. And so we were poking around and we found this trail here that we didn't check down. So we're gonna go oh, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes down this trail and see if we can't find that waterfall. Oh, look at this, we got a pretty decent trail here. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at that gorgeous swimming hole, man. That is so clear. I bet that's 10 feet deep. It's so deceptive when it's clear water like that. Hey, look, there it is. We found the waterfall. That's awesome. Here, let's go down here. Look at this. Ah, we found it. 
This is the falls. Whoa, look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's so cold. It's so cold. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Man, this is a gorgeous spot. And it uh, looks like a few people have camped right here on top of the falls. Man, if you strung a hammock up here, that would be pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Holy mackerel, I'm glad we found this. Is this scary? Wiggle your toes, wiggle, wiggle. Nathan, have you had fun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you came along with me. Now, are you ready to go home and see mama? <laughs> oh, you did it! That was so cool. I'm so glad we didn't give up and we found that waterfall. Man, we gotta come back here when it's hot in the middle of the summer. This would be such an awesome place to swim. We've got a long hike back to the car, but this time we're not gonna go up on the cliffs. We're gonna go and ford the rivers whenever we need to. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable doing that and getting my feet wet than putting Nathan up on those rocks again. Well, the river has dropped a couple inches overnight, so hopefully that'll mean we have to do a lot less bushwhacking and slogging through flooded trails. So I'm optimistic our return trip might be a little bit easier. Looking sketchy, huh? Oh, yeah, hold on. You good? Like a pro. Oh, more washed out trail. You got that? You're doing a great job. Woohoo! Well, this trail is terrible, but the view is amazing. Oh, look how much the water's gone down. I've seen a few brook trout here and there. Might have to come back here and go fly fishing. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making this video. If you wanna see more camping videos, check out our playlist. I'll put a link in the description. We've done survival camping in Scotland, Alaska, the Rocky Mountains, and uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more. So don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning.